Leviathan. Um, my name is Candace Mason, and I wanted to make a sort of unmasking video. Um, I've been trying to think of how to incorporate this new change in my life with my art and my ability to um, reach a fan base and hopefully have someone relate to me and hopefully not feel awkward. Um, I will almost be, for, I'm almost 42. I'll be 42 in August. And I was diagnosed in May as having high functioning autism. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a video talking about it at all, but I feel like a lot of the artists that I've watched over the years are pretty authentic. They will talk about who they are and sometimes their struggles. And ever since my diagnosis, I've been trying to figure out basically who I am as a person and who I am um, unmasked, which is a big journey. It's especially I guess challenging to figure that out as someone who has always been very artistic, had a very ima big imagination, artistic mind. My head is full of fantasy critters. Um, I, I'd say at my heart, I'm probably a very run fair type of girl, but I have never allowed myself to dress or act out of the norm. I've always expressed myself just through my artwork, but otherwise pretty basic, pretty normal. And I feel like if I can say it out loud to whoever pays attention or watches, it's just like putting it out there. Um, and maybe I won't feel so awkward when I'm recording videos. That's always been a struggle for me because I often don't know where to look at the camera. Do I look here at the lens? Do I look at my own eyes? And I have this sort of struggle um, in a lot of social, social situations. So when I record things, sometimes I just don't like it because I sort of talk a little monotone. I'm not super animated and when I compare myself to other YouTubers or influencers, I feel very just dry and blah. And I think, what's the point of filming this? You know, no one's gonna like me or care because I'm not that interesting. <laughs> That's what I told myself. Um, and I don't mean to say that in a way where I'm moping around or anything like that. I'm a very much sort of live in the moment type of person, but, um, I would really, I would very much like to start trying to be my authentic self. A lot of women are getting diagnosed later in life and I won't get into how I found out, but um, I'm very glad that I did because it never was on my radar that could be the case because my perception of autism was the most extreme versions that you see. And it just explains a lot about who I am as a person and sort of social struggles I've had through my life and why I've always felt different, why I haven't felt like I belong on this planet and, you know, why I don't have many friends nor care to <laughs> go out of my way to make many friends. I'm, I'm an introvert, um, and, but, you know, I do want to get out there with my artwork and I, I want to, you know, bring back some audience. In the past, I used to do very well with art. That was before I had my kid. Um, but after I had my kid, I, I couldn't keep up with all the stuff I was making. And I, I lost a lot of my fan base because I just wasn't putting enough out there. So um, if you look at my feed, you'll probably get an idea of some of the things I make, but I'm a fantasy artist. I make sculptures, I do paintings. I, I just dabble in a lot of different things. My interests are, as I said, fantasy, nature. I love the weather. I love 
insects. I love pretty much anything nature, really. Animals, you know. Um, so that's kind of what my art is based around. Um, anyways, so I don't really have a big point to make, just that I feel like I need to say something and get this out there. Um, and just try and feel confident um, diving into what my authentic self could be. I'm still figuring that out uh, slowly. <laughs> um, I think with my you know, outward appearance, I might over time just stop, you know, buying things that look socially acceptable, you know, like just running on down to Target or Old Navy and just picking out something that I'm okay-ish with, but doesn't really give me any identity. So I'm going to try and just do what I want for my own art. I'm not I mean, I'd like to sell some and I'm hoping that over time people will, you know, start to gravitate back to me and, you know, uh, support me and my style of art and maybe want to collect some of my art, but I don't need, I don't need to sell it. So I'm just going to do what I want for me. I'll put it probably on my Etsy store and stuff over time as I make things, um, but I'm just going to do that and just start trying to learn how to be myself. So um, if anyone else can relate, you know, to being late diagnosed autistic, I would very much like to hear your thoughts, your story and stuff like that. It would be nice to find a community. Um, I've been on Reddit a little bit, but just, you know, comment here and there. I, um, there's very few people I can feel comfortable enough around to just be the weirdo that I am. And I, um, you know, I like myself. I don't have a problem with myself. I just have to kind of learn who I am unmasked. So that is, that's my story for now. Maybe I'll elaborate another time, but I feel like I'm just rambling. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned and um, maybe, you know, we can all work together. You can watch me um, come out of my little chrysalis and fly around <laughs> as time goes on like a new butterfly. Um, all right, bye-bye.